Hey everyone. So I was working with a teacher recently and um, she was sharing with me the idea that she does a lot of her instruction in a remote environment through Google Meet and she also likes to use Google Slides. And one thing she wanted to be able to do was kind of go into her slides and present mode and still be able to ink on top of the slides to kind of uh, direct students' attention or get their gaze focused in a certain area. So I thought I'd make a little walkthrough on how to do that sort of thing. So here we are in a set of Google Slides and let me just add a blank slide right now. And this will be the one that I'm going to ink on top of or work on. I'll go to the Explorer tool. Let me just add um, some content here to talk about. So we'll, we'll do World War II Pacific map. All right, so maybe, um, you know, I'm a his former history teacher. So maybe I want this map as the content that I'm going to ink on top of. So that's kind of the first step. Now, I have an extension in, in, installed right now, and the extension that I'm going to be using, you can see right here, it's called Web Paint, and I'll add the link to Web Paint in the description of the video, so you can check that out if you'd like to. So Web Paint is installed. I have my slides where I'm ready to go, and what I'm actually going to do right now is change the URL of the slides to get into present mode, but not go full screen present by tapping on the present button. If I tap on the present button, I lose my browser and I lose the ability to turn on my extensions. If I do this little kind of trick right now with the URL of the slides, so what I'm going to do is I'm going up to the URL of my slides and the URL at some point it has forward slash edit as the URL. So what I'm doing is just going to delete everything after that forward slash, get rid of the word edit, and I'm going to change that to the word present. And the reason why I'm doing that is now I'm in present mode, but I still actually have access to my Chrome browser and all of my extensions. So with that, let's jump over to a Google Meet. So now we're in the Google Meet. I'm going to join this as if my students were kind of rolling in here. I'm going to close that out. And so now what I'm going to do in the Google Meet is I'll go to present. Right. So in the meet, I can just present the one tab that I'd like to use. So I'm presenting that one tab, and here's the tab I'd like to run and present right now. So I'm presenting this tab in Google Meet so all my students can see it, but what I can also do is access Web Paint, right? So I'm tapping on Web Paint. You can see that that pops up right away. So as I'm now advancing through my slides, so I'll close out Web Paint, I will advance to slide two, for example, and if I want to talk about what's going on on slide two, like no problem, I can do that by, hold on one second here, I'm going to open up Web Paint, tap on my inking tool, I can adjust the size, I can dictate the transparency, pick the color, and now what I'm able to do is ink on top of these slides in real time. So I might, for example, talk about what's going on at the Battle of Midway, talk about this process of island hopping that the US military was kind of uh, taking advantage of at the time. So that allows me really quickly and easily, close out web paint, to ink on top of my slides inside of a Google Meet. And again, the little trick is just to change the URL to forward slash present. Then you're, in, you're presenting that one tab, you open up web paint, and now you're ready to ink on top of the screen. Another thing you can do as well is just simply take advantage of the built-in pointer tool. So because I'm in present mode, I have Google's laser pointer, and I can use that to direct their attention or direct their gaze on the screen, um, and I don't have to have that permanent inking layer with web paint. Let me jump back to my slides for a second. close out this Google Meet, and we'll kind of jump back to that process we were working on. So I hope this um, little quick walkthrough was helpful. I hope, hope you have a, let me jump back here, hope you have a really clear sense of what you'd be able to do with your Google Slides. Again, just check out the URL, look for forward slash edit, and change it to forward slash present, get rid of everything after the word edit, jump over to your Google Meet, share that one tab, open up Web Paint, that Chrome extension. Again, that will be linked down in the description. And then you're ready to ink right on top of your slides inside of a Google Meet. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll have a bunch of videos, hopefully multiple videos a week. And just stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.